my darlings and welcome to a new vlog. This is going to be our honeymoon vlog or mini moon, mini moon vlog. Charlie and I have come to Sicily just for four nights as a little lovely getaway. 10 days after our wedding, 12 days. Or is it two weeks? Could even be two weeks. I don't know. The last couple of weeks has just been a magical blur. We are, yeah, just here for four nights, five days. Today is our first full day. We arrived about this time yesterday. Our hotel is absolutely gorgeous. We did actually change rooms because the first room that um, we were put in, we didn't love it. But now we are very happy indeed. We have got the most gorgeous view outside the window. Let me show you. So we are in an area called Tau, Tau, Taumina, I think is the correct pronunciation. Let's play Where's Wally? Can you see Charlie? <laughs> he looks naked from this view. That is of course him there. Um, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous here. We had a really lovely dinner in town last night. I'll talk to you properly like this. Um, yes, we had a delicious dinner in town last night, somewhere that the hotel recommended. And then this morning we went for about a two hour, it was meant, meant to be like a 45 minute um, walk, turned into a two hour hike up to a place called Castello, a castle up on one of the very high, I don't want to say hill, more than a hill, but not quite a mountain elevations overlooking this beautiful bay that we're staying on and it was quite the workout and then got back to the hotel just before breakfast finished at 11. The breakfast was absolutely sensational. So we're having a lovely time. We just had a nice lunch um, in the poolside restaurant. During our lunch it actually poured with rain <laughs> but then the second we wanted to go back to the pool it stopped and now it's perfect blue skies again. So, so far we've been very, very lucky. The hotel is beautiful. It's a big old Sicilian villa that is now a hotel. I actually think it was the very first hotel in Talmina. Um, and this hotel has got a sister hotel down on the beach. So we're about a 10 minute drive down the windy lanes or a three minute cable car down to the ocean. But we're gonna go and check out the other hotel for dinner tonight. We've got dinner there and then we might actually spend the day on the hotel's private beach tomorrow. So we're just relaxing. Um, I'll pick up the camera as and when and probably just show you my <laughs> outfits mostly. A very chilled poolside outfit today. Um, this bikini, I think it's Bikini Bible. I've worn this on a few trips recently. And then a little white cover-up from Erez. And I've got my slip slidey Hermes sandals on and Gucci sunglasses. The hotel actually does um, granita at 4 p.m. So I'm at clock watching until that is available. And then we might head into town a little bit earlier, do a little bit of exploring. We're right by the old town, by the old Via Teatro, the big old Teatro Greco, the great theater. So much history here, it's a gorgeous old building. So yes, I will show you around. Such a beautiful old building. Lots of gorgeous bougainvillea. Lots of pelagoni. Ooh, I'm still getting dripped on from the rain. Let's head down to the pool area. Ah, ah. Can you tell me what exactly is granita? Granita is a mix like sorbet and ice cream. Oh. It's creamy like ice cream, but uh, is uh, without milk and cream. Ah, Just okay. water, sugar, and food. And ah, traditionally nice. eaten with a brioche. Yeah. Wow. And a coffee normally? Coffee. You have with a coffee or just as a snack? Is um, usually we use um, take to for breakfast. Uh, um, <laughs> Oh wow! Do you know what? Maybe yeah, strawberry. One strawberry and one peach. I think. We can mix them. Yeah, I think. Nice. Do you think? Yeah, is that yeah, fine? We can Perfect. mix them. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, wow, it looks good. Like for breakfast in the summer. Uh, it, okay. Like I, think, I think maybe without milk. Okay. Very yeah. nice. Um, Thank you. Like uh, no. no. something in the winter. Yes. Very very nice. This is perfect. Wow. That's plenty. Thank you. Okay, it's a few hours later. Gosh, I look like I've got a lot of blush on today. 
and Charlie and I are heading down to the sister hotel, the Sant Andrea, for dinner. I've got on my little white dress and sandals. I don't think it's really worth wearing heels when it's very hilly everywhere. Um, lovely and warm evening. I'll show you a proper outfit of the evening and then I think I'll film the rest of tonight on my phone because my handbag is too little for my vlogging camera. Good. I'd give it a seven out of ten. I think I think gelato is still way better. Yeah. I it prefer ice brioche. cream. The brioche is not Surplus really needed. Yeah, I'm very excited to try the brioche with like the cream for yeah. breakfast, which I remember I think we had that in Rome, so it's not unique to Sicily. No. Um but yeah, so far coffee's great, food's been really good. Yep. Um so yeah, can't complain, we had some good weather. We're only yep. here for four nights, so this is our second of four, so it's gonna mm -hmm. go quick. Oh my god, but, already. But it shows how much we love the Cotswolds because we do miss the Cotswolds as we well. We do. But I think we'll probably find ourselves coming back here because there's so much to do Definitely. and explore here. Yeah, this is just Come our first of many trips, hopefully. Yeah. I think it's a good tactic to like test somewhere out for a few nights and then yeah. if you love it, go yeah, for a longer definitely. time. Definitely. So um, we are heading down to our hotel's sister hotel, which is actually on the ocean side tonight, because our hotel is up. What would you say, like 500 meters? Quite mountainous. Up? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they provide a free little shuttle, which we're just waiting for now. We're going to check out the hotel, and maybe we'll spend the whole day there tomorrow, because then we have access to the private beach, which will be lovely. Right, I think they we're ready, so let's oh, go. Oh, okay. Yep. We are going. And the Amo. So this is the entryway to Villa San Andrea, which is the sister hotel of our hotel. We are just going to explore a little bit. We're going to spend the day at the beach here tomorrow, are we, darling? Yeah, we're going to do a beach day. Beach day. It's about a 10 minute drive, a very wiggly drive, but the sky is clearing. It went overcast for a little while. Hopefully you'll have some nice vistas. The flowers here are amazing. It's always so different in Europe. Lots of citrus little, are they mini oranges? Are they not kumquats? Kumquats. Sounds rude. I, I don't know actually. Purple petunia. Lots of vines. Oh, it smells gorgeous. All the petunia. Gosh, it's so pretty here. Don't trust anyone that doesn't want olive oil on everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you Italians live so long. <laughs> it's true though, right? Yeah. the day today so instead of going down to the beach I think we're gonna do another nice chilled pool day Sunday today so we're just gonna take it slow maybe have a little walk around the town again I popped on this lovely new Juliet Dunn uh, beach cover-up for breakfast and I'm gonna wear this over the top of my bikini for our pool day 
and it's actually a tiny bit big for me. This is size one. I think my other Juliet Dunn pieces have been size zero. Um, so I've just cinched it in with my little belts, aqua zero heels, and little um, bikini Bible, bikini on underneath. Just had a lovely breakfast, gonna pop some sun cream on, and then another very tough day <laughs> reading our books down by the pool. The breakfasts here are absolutely incredible and they have got so many different juices, literally every berry or fruit you could imagine. Um, yesterday I got carrot, today I'm going to have their mandarin juice, tomorrow I think I'm going to try red currant or maybe pear or maybe guava or maybe passion fruit, <laughs> there's so many. Um, but yeah, Charlie's is popping his sun cream on and I'm going to enjoy this while overlooking the view. Behind this tree here is Mount Etna. Today's the first day we've been able to see the outline of it. Um, the past couple of mornings, past couple of days, it's been blue skies, but quite hazy. So we haven't even been able to see that far. And our view at breakfast, we could see Mount Etna, but the clouds here are just covering the top. So hopefully later on today, when the clouds burn off, as they say, <laughs> when it gets hot, um, we might actually be able to see the full Mount Etna, which is Europe's most active volcano. I think it last erupted only two or three weeks ago. Nothing major, <laughs> not like it did hundreds and thousands of years ago. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And this is our view from our balcony. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is the pool that we'll be spending the day at. It's a lovely little sun terrace, little beach bar down there, pool bar. Uh, and then if I go around here, you can see there's some old ruins down there. The Grand Teatro is just behind us. It really is the most beautiful hotel. And as you walk through the gardens, you get the fragrance of the jasmine that's growing everywhere. Stunning. Might go for a little walk around the grounds with you before settling down by the pool while we wait for it to warm up even more. Okay, my darlings, I'm heading out on a solo mission to go and find some cannoli. Charlie is down by the pool. It's a little tiny bit cloudy, so I'm actually gonna go and explore the town. This quite frequently happens on our holidays when Charlie just wants to lay down and relax, and I want to go and explore. And luckily, our hotel is in the most amazing location. This is the hotel, and this is town. <laughs> so it's perfect. We're right in the middle of the old town, and up here, where everyone is walking is how you get to the ancient theatre. So I'm just gonna nip out for half an hour, go and find some cannoli and bring it back for Charlie. It feels very safe here, so I don't mind just nipping out by myself. Um, so yes, let's go and explore the old part of Taormina. <laughs> So just tucked away in the middle of town is the Villa Comunale. I apologise for any incorrect pronunciation, but it's a beautiful public garden in, um, overlooking the bay. Of course my view is blocked by trees at the moment, but I think there's some amazing viewpoints. These to me look like giant ancient aviaries. Really unusual architecture. Very old. I think it's... Um, Actually, I'll have to find out the exact age of all these buildings, but my goodness, so beautiful. Lots of gorgeous blooms around. Let's go and explore. Well, this is definitely the place to come for amazing city views. It looks like there used to be lots of those terracotta plant pots up on these walls, but um, not many have survived to tell the tale. There's a little children's play area through there. Some wisteria growing through the hedge. And I just adore these old trees, it's so beautiful. And here comes the sunshine. Charlie will be very happy. <laughs> so I read one of the historical information signposts and these are in fact ancient aviaries. I believe they were built by a British Victorian um, lady <laughs> who moved to Sicily and wanted to bring her birds with her or enjoy the local birds. So built these incredible aviaries another beautiful fountain and okay i've read up and it was in fact lady florence trevelyn a scottish noblewoman who had an affair with the heir to the english throne edward the seventh she arrived in tarmina in 1884 and married the mayor here quite scandalous i imagine and she upon her arrival set about to build these beautiful victorian follies which still stand in the gardens today
who's here with the white, um, what do you call it? Is where we had dinner on our first night, and it was absolutely delicious. The owner Jean Luca comes and explains the fresh, local, seasonal um, dishes that they have, and it may not look anything fancy, but oh my goodness, it was absolutely scrumptious. So I'd highly recommend Osteria Santa Dominica. There is a queue for this place called Bamba. Everyone says it's the best granita in Taormina. Charlie got a coffee from here the other day. Apparently the service was a little bit grouchy, so I think I might find somewhere else. But if you want the most famous granita in town, Bamba is where you want to come to. As a pistachio lover, this looks a lot more up my street. Nuve looks like they've got some delicious cannoli, so I'm going to go and check it out. <laughs> Only in Sicily would you find cannoli fridge magnets. Love it. I am in pistachio heaven. They have got everything from a pistachio cream liquor to loads of different kinds of pestos. I'm definitely going to take one of these home with me. Yum! I'm praying comes to England sometime soon. Pistachio coffee. So she's going to do a pistachio paste. Can I film you making it? Uh, yes. So it's a pistachio paste and then coffee and then cream. Is that right? Wow. Nice. Wow. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> We need to have this in England. <laughs> Espresso. Yeah. So I have got my pistachio cream coffee and apparently this little cream that I've just bought is how I can make it at home. So if this is absolutely sensational, I might buy a load of jars of this. And then two pistachio cannolis filled with more pistachio cream. I am in pistachio heaven. Here we go, lunch has arrived. This is somewhat ironic. I'm reading ultra processed people um, and ordering a pizza, but actually this is made from fresh ingredients, proper pizza dough, not the ultra processed stuff that I normally have at home with my Chicago town freezer pizzas. So still um, not going against what this book is recommending. Very interesting read. Would highly, highly recommend this. We've got a pizza alla norma, which is aubergine um, and lots of lovely tomato pastes. And this one I think is courgette, ricotta, more aubergine. As they say in Italy, yum arello. <laughs> That's what Josie says in Italy at least. by the pool, made some pals. We did, we found some Australians. Pals. We met a lot of Australians. Oh, we have, there's, there's a, a lot of Aussies here. Yeah. Um, a number of Aussie, Aussie tourists, tourists like us. We, yeah. We've met less British people actually. Have we met any British people? Um, I think there are British people at the hotel. But we've not met them. No, lots no. of very friendly really Australians. Friendly people. Um, so, this evening we have actually got dinner plans at our hotel, but because we spent the whole day at our hotel, we thought we would just nip into town. There's some lovely little aperitivo bars. Um, that's the best, I think that's one of the best things about our hotel is you can just walk out yeah. and you're in Taormina straight away. Yeah, I um, think this is the old town. Is that what it is? Well, yeah, I think so. it looks beautiful. So. Yeah. Um, and we might pop out after dinner as well to get a pistachio gelato. I've got on a little Zimmerman dress. 
and I'm literally just wearing the same shoes every night it's very hilly everywhere um, I don't want to be wearing heels where's your outfit from darling? Uh, shorts from Drake's, nice. British, made in the UK. Top is actually not made in the UK, it's oh. from a brand called um, An uh, Anthology, Ooh. which is, I actually found them through Drake's, but they're, they're made in Hong Kong. Nice, um, smart. Yeah. And Charlie's testing out his new camera, what's that? It's a Leica. Leica. And it is, what's the word? Not, it's made out of Kevlar. It's made out of Kevlar. Oh. Yeah. But I think we need a photographer, of course, don't we? Really? We do. Ooh, okay. So we're going to find somewhere for a little drink and then back to the hotel for dinner. This is the town where they filmed the White Lotus and there are these little faces everywhere. What's the theme tune, darling? A little bit spooky, I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to know the significance of them though. They are very funky, gosh, especially this little lady. Wow. Oh, we're coming here nestled amongst all the little local stores. There is actually a Dior here, which I think says quite a lot about the clientele in Taormina. It's a really cute little store. I went in there yesterday with a sweet little balcony overlooking the port. Beautiful little um, bougainvillea filled alleyway. Very, very cute. the main square of Taormina as you can see very busy there's some beautiful old churches here I think if you look all the way up to that hill there behind the tree that's where Charlie and I climbed on our first morning uh, the Four Seasons which is where White Lotus is filmed and here just emerging above the clouds we finally can see the top of Mount Etna very mesmerizing and what's the word I don't know, captivating in the background. So Beautiful. about the food in Sicily is they take such pride with the origin of the ingredients so we always get told that the bread is made with Sicilian grain and the olive oil is created from olives grown on the slopes of Mount Etna which is hidden behind that tree <laughs> but mm. it is beautiful and imposing is the word I was looking for earlier look at these gorgeous gorgeous tables with spectacular views of the various coves and ports. Hello, Melissa. How's the bread, darling? Mm. I just love one of them. You gotta do it with a hand action. Tutto bene. <laughs> I can smell the lobster in it. Pasta linguini alla lobster and a herb and saffron risotto. Mm. Canoli e tiramisu. You have to do uh, this. Uh, buongiorno. It is the best language, isn't it? I think if I could go back to school and learn any language, it would be Italian. Italiano, yes. We know all we need to know. Risotto, pizza, pasta. Grazie mille. 
So today, Charlie and I started the morning with a leisurely stroll through town. And um, we actually got up a little bit earlier today, walked through town when it was very peaceful, very quiet, not many people around. A few of the locals having their morning espresso. And it was lovely, lovely to explore. We had a nice little espresso in a local pit stop, um, local cafe, then had another gorgeous breakfast at the hotel. Still yet to see the tip of Mount Etna because every angle of our hotel that we sit at, whether it's our balcony or our table at breakfast, there is a tree in the way. So does it even exist? Is there really a peak to Mount Etna? Well, the peak keeps getting maybe bigger as well, you know that, right? Keeps getting bigger. What did taller. you say, 100? The peak keeps getting taller. Every time it erupts, obviously the lava solidifies and then the peak keeps getting taller. Yeah, that's so I think it's So I think it's increased by, honestly, I think it's like 35 meters. Wow. In the last, like, I don't know, last that's decade or maybe less. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so today we had breakfast at our hotel, but now we've just got the shuttle down to Villa Sant'Andrea, which is the sister hotel. There's a free shuttle that goes every half an hour between the two hotels. And this one has got a private beach. I don't actually think it's got a pool, but they've got the beach. So we're doing a beach day today. Yeah, look at this. These are two plants that we have at home, obviously fennel. Yeah. Which is, uh, obviously you can cook them, but then also... And we've got, I've got loads of petunia in the greenhouse but it shows and pelagonia. It shows a difference in the climate because yeah. we have this, which is the Berkshire Grandiflora. Is it the Angel's Fishing um, Rod? Is that what it's called? I think that's this one, yeah. And um, ours kind of like flowers, maybe two or three. Whereas here, it just like it goes mental. Goes. Is that a pool up there, or is that just a nice seating area? Oh, look at this gorgeous Linda and that little island that you might have seen in those clips as we were coming down like this but further out is Isola Bella and depending on the time of day you can access it by foot just over a little stony um, spit but yeah we're just going to stay at the beach here and you picture this in it yeah I just want to make sure I'm right I think I am See the bottle? Mandarinata. Very nice. That is so refreshing. Well done. bikini bible bikini and the best beach shoes from Manabi.
Ferreira. It is our final evening and we've had a fabulous day down on the beach at Villa Santa Andrea. It was a really, really lovely day. Pretty toasty. Had a little snooze on the beach after our delicious lunch. So we're heading out into town for dinner. I think we're on the lookout for a fabulous pizza. This is not what I'm gonna wear for dinner. It's actually a tiny bit itchy on the back. Um, and I feel like this is the kind of dress that I need to have fabulous um, styled hair for. Whereas tonight with freshly washed hair, it's definitely hair in a bun kind of night. I think it's been hair in a bun every night since we've been here, but I would just so much rather spend time in doing other things than my hair, which takes forever. But it is a fabulous dress. Um, Zimmerman, little bandeau top, little bow detail here. It has got some smocking at the back. I think the reason it's itchy is because I haven't taken out the, um, or I haven't fully taken out that plastic label thing, and I think that's digging in. But I'm gonna pop something else on, but I will be taking this little bag, because it's so perfect for Sicily. I did bring a lot of things with me. My wardrobe is still full of pieces. You're looking incredibly tanned, darling. I'm looking tanned, am I? Yes. Woo! What's going on with these shorts? They feel a lot tighter than my other ones. Tighter? It might be all the risotto, pizza, pasta, and um, bread we've been eating, darling. I think it's actually that I've got the other two are 31. Yeah, yeah. I reckon these are a 30. This is incredibly handsome viewing for all of your... Um, fans out there doing. Right, I'm gonna get changed and then let's go into town and get our final pizza. Good evening. So I just go for Reformation for playing it safe. This is the best bag for Sicily, isn't it? Limon. How do you like those lemons, mate? Oi, oi. And the best thing is for the view. Oh, wow, gorgeous view. Clouds over Etna, <laughs> still haven't seen the top, but this really would be a fabulous place to see it. If it weren't always shrouded in cloud, that property over there is where the, falls, the um, White Lotus was filmed. We went and had a look at rooms in there because we were potentially going to extend the trip, um, but for the same price that we're paying here, it was literally a matchbox, <laughs> so we decided against it, but it does look lovely. So this is where we're going to try for our last evening meal, Pizzeria Villa Zucro. Actually a recommendation from one of you guys. So let's hope first of all that we can actually get a table. and this is behind the scenes of the action. Wow, is that the pistachio crumb? Yeah. Mmm. <gasps> Mind? I have never seen such a big pizza oven before. Wow. <laughs> Let's do it. What a pedido. Grazie When it's the last night of your honeymoon and you have a very hungry husband. Not one, not two. Supporting local business, mate. Yeah, supporting local business. I've got mortadella with pistachio, burrata, and pistachio cream in there somewhere. Just a shout out to a lovely Instagram follower who recommended it. Patricia. Patricia. She did. Thank you, Patricia. Patricia. These pizzas look... I'm saying Patricia, but I think it's Patricia. I think she's English. Excuse me. Parma ham, honey, walnuts, yeah. parmigiano. Just to get a few more of these because it could get a bit messy. Is that okay? Put one more. Maybe three more. Three? Yeah. Oh, oh. That's it. And what flavour have you got there, darling? Burrata, yeah, parma. This, this, to be fair, this looks perfect. Yay. Buon appetito. Taormina di Orsto. It's beautiful. Look at these little sandals. It's for drills. Okay, I'm going to have to come back here in the daytime because look how cute this is. Little Dior Terrace. Wow. Oh, it's so fabulous. I wonder if you can get little coffees out here. How adorable. And the lemons growing up the walls. Such a cute little boutique. Love it, stocking up on some local produce before we go home. Olive oil with olives from Etna. Tutti frutti. Yeah, nice. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. 
I love how it's all presented. Mm. Lovely. This is the Sicilian pick and mix. Yeah? Yeah. I'll have a few of these, mate. <laughs> is it okay to buy these as well? Crema de pistachio. You know, just keep more, more, more. Yeah. I just think maybe something. <coughs> Why don't you get a strawberry? Yes. I think these ones look Why don't you buy me a fruit basket, darling? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yummy. Yeah. Oh. Yum. Wow. Oh, Meloncello. Okay. Crema di melone di Sicilia. Oh. <gasps> Ciao. And for our pudding, we are getting pistachio themed yumminess. I'm getting a gelato ice cream al pistachio and a big cone. And our favorite nuovo. And Charlie is getting a magnum al pistachio. Yum. you are a pistachio lover, I would highly recommend you come to Taormina and this place in particular. Wow! So we're doing our little morning stroll on our final morning and everyone recommended Bamba quite famous, it's like the local hotspot for Granita, so we're just grabbing a quick morning coffee in Granita here, being proper tourists, I've ordered a coffee flavour, and Charlie has got something with cream. Tradition, traditional Sicilian breakfast, although Charlie's doing the Roman breakfast. Well, no, but they, he still says this is allowed, so it's cream with the brioche. What's it called? A mezzana. Good. And I have gone fully traditional. I've got a coffee flavoured granita with almond as well. They have it with a brioche bun. Oh my gosh. It's warm, it's soft, it's doughy. Ooh, yummy. Sicily. We've just been to Bamba and here in Sicily apparently a traditional breakfast is granita which is, what did we decide for? Like, um, sort of in between sorbet and ice cream isn't it? Cream. So there's no dairy Sicily. in there. Yes, with a brioche bun and they make it all completely fresh there. They whip, they whip the cream, they work with the bakery across the road for these gorgeous sweet brioche buns. Um, and now we're going to have our proper breakfast, our <laughs> breakfast here at the hotel. The hotel breakfasts are delicious. I'm going to get a few of the pistachio croissants and outfit of the morning. This is another honoring piece. I wore a short version yesterday. This is a long one and then it looks really nice with a white swimsuit underneath. So that is the outfit. Let's go and get breakfast part two. Such a gorgeous terrace area and look we finally, <laughs> finally can see the top of Mount Etna on our final morning. You can see a little bit of smoke coming out the top. Maybe a tiny bit of snow, I'm not sure. It does get snowy there during the cooler months. And finally we can see it. It's not a myth. <laughs> so this is how spectacular our hotel breakfasts are. Cornetto al pistachio. And then they put pistachio cream inside. Croissant, oof, yum. Every juice flavor that you could possibly imagine. I'm gonna try passion fruit today. Our final 
final morning by the pool. We've actually got until 5 p.m., which is lovely. I switched into this Erdem very lightweight beach dress, which is just gorgeous. Perfect, darling. It's 10 a.m. and there is not a single, well, there's one person <laughs> down by the pool. But the pick of the bunch. for something that's not on the menu slash ever. However, I have been dreaming of a pistachio pesto pasta and on our last lunch, I said, I have a dream. Can you make it come true? And look what has just arrived. <laughs> I've got rose, I've got parmigiano, I've had lots of dippy bread with Mount Etna olive oil and I am very, very happy. Tutto bene. What have you got coming, darling? Biggest steak you've ever seen. The biggest steak I've ever seen. Wow. They were a bit shocked that I ordered it just for one person. Uh, Last day on honeymoon. Yeah. We're only here for five days, so I feel like we owe it to ourselves. To yeah. Our food today. That's the right thing and, to do. And um, super excited. Um, and we've eaten, we've actually eaten pretty healthily up well, until yesterday. I would say we have. And then yesterday we've eaten we were good like, quality you know, pasta, we're risotto, have pizza. Yesterday we had. I've had yeah. risotto every day. Do you know what? This trip has made me aware of actually issue because I've always been against going away for short trips. Mm. Um, but actually, I feel really refreshed and ready to get back to work. Although, we're going to take a couple of days just to explore the Cotswolds, aren't we? Yes. Um, right, stop talking, darling husband, because I've got pistachio pesto pasta to eat. Woohoo!